So I wanted to give another update on our dragon fruit plants. Um, we've got about 10 more buds that have grown and are about 8 to 10 inches long right now, getting ready to flower. However, what's really cool about this is while this plant is doing this, it just aborted uh, the same number that it's continued to grow. Um, it's starting to produce more buds on other areas of the plant. So it's kind of interesting how it selected those dropped them and said hey let's grow some more somewhere else so let's take a look and i'll let you know what i'm talking about all right so here are some more of the dragon fruit buds there's four very large on that arm and it dropped off if you remember from a previous video i had looks like i think one here i had a few down here that it dropped off and it kept those but what we've since noticed is another bud popping up here there was oh i got two more large growing buds here that one dropped them off and aside of that there was a couple more my son and i noticed on here earlier but over here on this dragon fruit that has had the star our very first bud in it for the last several videos it's got this large bud that's growing it's got another new one here. It's got that large bud that's growing. Two more small ones. Let's see, two more here. <laughs> two more here. The ants are already trying to get in them. You can see up there on that one. And then it's also got you know this large bud here. It's got two more buds there up here on the top of the trellis we've got two more so I think all in all if it, all of these get supported we'll have around 20 dragon fruits hopefully hopefully just before it's time to bring these in I'm not sure what the temperatures will do that puts them about two months out which makes it the beginning of October when some of these small buds will be ready so I don't know if our temperatures will drop and they will drop at the same time off the plant but our, right now our plan for this trellis is since it's too big to too big to bring these plants inside and set them in rooms by themselves we're going to put skates on the bottom of the trellis and fasten create and fasten some some uh, boards or platforms on the bottom for the pots to sit on so that we can wheel this thing from here back into our garage and we'll get the outside of it wrapped up in some plastic some new grow lights on top and hopefully we can overwinter this and get these guys to survive the winter bring them back out and by then who knows maybe we'll have another awesome year where we just get tons and tons of dragon fruits so like and subscribe go ahead and keep an eye on us we'll keep posting new stuff with all of our plans we got a lot of them that are doing some kind of fun stuff here at the end of summer or the end of the hot season i should say summer's got a while left but they're all getting themselves ready for winter except this dragon fruit which continues to keep putting on so ask any questions let us know if you if you uh, see some things we're doing wrong things we could do better we're always trying to learn so anyway like and subscribe and well thanks for watching